thank you very much. Um, so, hi everyone. I'm Caroline, the CEO and co-founder of Volumental. And let's see if we can get it to spin. No. Okay, that's supposed to move, but oh well. Um, so uh, anyway, and this is part of my body profile online, which is online at volumental.com. And that's what I'm going to talk to you about today. What we can do when we actually have digitized our bodies. And that's exactly what Volumental does. Volumental is a 3D body scanning startup, which puts the individual back in the center for how we buy and manufacture products. And we're a team of 16 people who've built this 3D scanning software and platform, which makes it really easy to create a 3D model of yourself by just filming around like this, and then actually getting exact measurements from that, like in, uh, in this model here. And, um, sorry. And uh, then what you can do is actually take those measurements and use them to customize products and services. So, for example, think about your shoes, your jeans, your glasses. You should never again have to worry about those fitting you because they're actually made for you. And that's the world that Volumental wants to create, a world where everything is tailored to you and where that's the norm rather than a luxury. So, where am I going to start? If my body is digitized, what's the first thing I'm going to fix about the way the world looks today? Well, the first thing I'm going to fix is my feet. I have blisters all the time. It's so annoying. Um, walking in a new pair of shoes is truly horrible for me. So I basically live in Band-Aids. And I mean, I can kind of fix that today, but that costs probably 2,000 pounds or more. And it also costs, you know, probably three trips, ideally, to a tailor where they actually measure my feet and make sure the shoe will fit. And it just takes a lot of time and money. So that's something that Volumental has made. That's our first thing that we've made a lot easier today. And I'm going to walk you through how it works. And this is actually something that we're working on with, uh, for example, some Italian tailors of Italian leather shoes. So this is what it might look like. So I start with finding some shoes I really like the look of when I'm shopping online. But I don't know, you know exactly which shape I have. I don't have time to go visit the store to get my feet measured. So what I do instead is just really quickly get a scan of my foot with the exact measurements. And this is something Volumental can do today. And it takes around 10 seconds to get the width, length, girth, and volume, uh, rather than those three trips to the tailor it could take before. So then you've brought your foot from physical to digital format. And then you can use that on the manufacturer, the tailor's side, to actually create a custom shoe, which comes home to me, um, within you know, a few days or two a few weeks, depending on, uh, on the process you've used. So this is something we're really excited about. Um, we're rolling out, hopefully, this spring. And um, another thing you can customize in, your shoes, in the shoes space um, is the inside, the underside of your shoe. So insoles, which is also a very important part of how you, how you stand. And there's something where Volumental is also working on right now by uh, making it much easier to create these insoles. Today, it's often quite a bulky and analog process. You often have to go to a um, pediatrician or a clinic to get it done. And what you can do with Volumental then is make that process much quicker by just holding your foot up in front of a camera and getting that insole. And we're rolling out with um, uh, the market leader in North America for custom medical insoles um, this spring with a product like this. But um, shoes are really only the beginning for Volumental. So that's what we're working on now. But you can digitize so much more. So for example, um, the face I showed you in the beginning what happens when you actually have your face, in a, or your face and your head shape uh, in digital format and the exact measurements there? The first thing I would fix um, is actually these, you know, these sunglasses. Like in the summer, they're too tight here. They keep sliding down your nose if it's too warm. Those should just be 3D printed to perfectly fit the shape of my face. And also, um, there are earphone companies that do these custom earphones so the earphones don't keep falling off. And that's something that's possible, and it becomes even easier when you have a digital representation of the inside shape of your ear online. And this is an area that you know, Volumental has started in, but you know, we're looking for uh, lots of partners in this. So I'm really interested to talk to people about this afterwards, if you guys have good ideas or ideas for partnerships. But then, on from just the face and the, the feet, 
you can actually digitize the whole body. And what happens then? What's the first thing that you want to do when you have your whole body online? Well, let's think of it then. So there are the obvious things like customizing a um, shirt or a suit, which you can sort of do today, but basically eliminating a lot of the humor error in measuring this and being able to connect much easier to these tailors. But let's think bolder. Let's think about actually being able to combine the shape with functionality. So for example, I play basketball, actually 3D printing an exoskeleton that fits the shape of my legs, which makes sure I can jump higher and run faster when I play basketball. That would be really cool. Um, also, you can also start thinking about things in the virtual reality space. When you actually have your body online, you can use that as an avatar in a computer game, for example, playing The Sims with your friends that actually look like your friends. And you can also use this, for example, to combine it with your Oculus Rift or do lots of exciting things. And this is something that you know, we can do once we have our bodies online. And it's something where Volumental you know, is trying to get this, um, this platform together so we can start doing this together with people. So this is what the idea can look like. So, um, really trying to connect the user to these manufacturers through this new way of um, digitally scanning your body and keeping that information on a platform. And this has a lot of implications um, for manufacturers as well as, as on the user side. And one of the main things driving this is now the possibility in these new 3D technologies, like the scanning that Volumental does, for example, but also in um, different 3D softwares, like in CAD CAM, that makes it much easier to create these, um, uh, these customized products uh, in software format. And also, of course, actually being able to create those physically again then, through, for example, 3D printing and other ways to make smaller batch sizes with new production methods. So this means that we can move away from things like seasonal thinking and um, having this mass production where I have to run around in a store and, and look for something that, that fits me, rather than things just being created for me in the first place. And it means that much smaller producers can really have a chance at create space for a lot smaller players and a way to link to artisans all over the world with your body data so you can get products that you think you know, fit you, your style and your shape and your lifestyle. But it's also really great for the end user, the, the shopper, each one of us. Because it means that we can be much more involved in creating the products that we wear. It means that we get a lot more excited and um, involved in the design process. So we care more about these products that we create. And it means that you can really create unique things for yourself. So that the individual is put back in the center for how we buy and manufacture these products. And that's something we're really excited about at Volumental. And we're building this world to uh, fit you today. And uh, I really hope that you enjoyed my speech. Thanks for listening. And do come find me afterwards if you have any questions or comments. Thank you.